you lovely people, welcome back to my channel. Now today's video, how have I only just seen this? I do not know, but I ended up watching one and then, you know YouTube, I ended up watching a thousand. So basically today I'm doing the um, wet makeup brush challenge, which I'm really excited about. I think it was Michael Finch that actually started this. Obviously I'll leave his down below. I actually thought this seemed so much fun. I think it's gonna be kind of easy. I mean, fingers crossed it is because I use a beauty blender pretty much for every single step of my makeup routine. I mean, I don't even really bother using brushes apart from really on my eyes, maybe for contour sometimes. And pretty much every single day when I do my makeup, I damp this and actually I pretty much soak it, but then I like wring it out. So I don't think this is gonna be much different. It might be different on a brush though because I've never wet a brush before. Obviously the beauty blender, it expands and it makes your makeup go on so much better than if it was dry. So I'm hoping kind of the same thing happens. I don't know if it will, but it'd be great if it did. So I'm really excited to give this a go and I thought today I'm actually not going to use my beauty blender at all because I kind of feel like it's cheating. I feel like you're kind of like supposed to wet a beauty blender now like everyone does. So I'm just going to use brushes. I'm going to wet them. I've got a cup of water and uh, I know a lot of people like wring it out so I guess I'll wring it out a tiny bit but I want to take this uh, challenge to an extreme so I want to keep them pretty wet and I've got a bunch of brushes that is so clean. It makes my heart so happy. So I'm really excited and I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you guys enjoy this video, don't forget to hit a big thumbs up. And really quickly before we get into this video, I know it's so annoying. Like honestly, I'm so upset with YouTube. So basically it doesn't exactly mean much if you just subscribe nowadays because even if you subscribe, it doesn't definitely mean that you're actually gonna see everyone that you subscribe to in your subscription box. So basically you have to click this bell that's somewhere on the screen now as well because otherwise you just won't be seeing their videos. So please, please, please go and hit the bell as well as subscribing. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into the video. For my foundation, this is one that I pretty much use every single day. This is the NARS Sheer Glow and I love this. And this is in the shade Medium 2. Right, so I've got my big cup of water and I'm gonna mix, oh my goodness, wow. So I just like drain it off, but you can see it's so wet. So I'm using a stippling brush because I feel like this is gonna be the best way to kind of like blend in the foundation and then Let's just go with it. Right. Oh gosh, it's very cold. It actually feels really refreshing. Right, so let's start blending. I don't know if it's just because I haven't used a brush in so long, but this feels really weird. It actually feels kind of nice because it feels like so refreshing on my skin. However, it actually, it makes the foundation feel quite sticky. But it's actually, look, it's actually not even going on that bad. Well, I mean, so far I don't want to jinx anything, but I would actually mind having to wet my foundation brush. However, I do feel like it would be better if I didn't wet it. Like this bit here, particularly in my T-zone where it's a bit more oily, it doesn't feel like it's, I don't know, it kind of just feels like it's smearing a little bit. <laughs> I've started blending. I actually feel like it actually looks kind of nice. The only thing is normally this foundation is actually, it feels a little bit heavier on my skin, which is personally what I like because I kind of prefer like more of a fuller coverage. However, I feel like because it's kind of been mixed with the water, it's a little bit lighter on my skin. So I'm gonna go for a second layer. So we're gonna go in again, drench this brush. I feel so, like this water is gonna look disgusting by the end of this video. Oh gosh, actually this time, the brush is so wet, it actually kind of was really gross because I could feel it dripping down my face. Yeah, the second layer now, I feel like it's more like smearing, so I'm kind of having to like dab it on rather than like kind of blend it in. This is actually getting really hard. Now, now it is actually literally, I feel like I have been drenched now. My, my, my face feels so wet. Stage number two. Why did I just put up four fingers? I do not know. But we are gonna go in with the Collection Lasting Perfection Blooming. Love this concealer. I mean, I actually blend this with a beauty blender and I feel like it's the best and easiest thing to blend. So let's see if it's the same thing with a wet makeup brush. I'm gonna say a little triangle, but it's not really that little. Um, <laughs> mess this up. Okay, and there we go. What brush do people use for concealers? Because everyone I know nowadays is using beauty blenders. This brush says conceal brush, so I guess I'm gonna use this. Let's mix it. Um, oh, this is so wet. 
this is still dripping. This is gonna be disgusting. I feel like the more layers I add, the harder this is actually gonna get. Because at the moment, I still feel like it looks okay. Like, I would happily go out like this. But after the next couple of stages, I'm not too sure if it's gonna quite look the same. Oh, wow. Can you see that? It's actually dripping. There's so much, so much water on my face. I've definitely done worse makeup challenges that I found harder than this. It's not blending as well as a beauty blender would and also I've got water dripping all down my face. At the same time, still feel like it's not blending that bad. I'm just like dabbing it rather than, maybe I'll try this side dabbing like I am and then this side I'll actually blend it and see what happens. Kind of rub it in circular motions. Um, I mean, it doesn't feel as nice. I mean, it's not taking as much off as I thought it would. Oh God, can't, can't dab. I'm just smearing it off a little bit. I don't know if you can see on my neck or not, but up close you can actually see the foundation is stripped from the water. So that, that's kind of gross. Right, we're moving on. We are going with the Clinique and Chummy Stick. One of my faves. Blimmin' love this. But I do actually use a brush for this, however I don't use it wet. And I feel like this could actually be the hardest part. I don't think this is gonna blend that well. We contour uh, on the cheekbone. Then we do some on the jawline, and then we go for the forehead. I feel like this is just gonna drip everywhere, but it might, again, it might prove me wrong. This is like totally off topic, because I'm not using these brushes right now, but how cute are these brushes? I know they're not sponsored. They are just the best thing ever. They are by, I think they're from, I'm pretty sure they're Unicorn Cosmetics. Yeah, I think they are. Um, Unicorn Cosmetics. They are the best thing ever. They are shaped like mermaids. Like I actually just want to use these brushes because they are so cute. But I don't have a contour one actually. Um, but I think I'll use maybe one of these for my blush or my highlight because they're so cute. My heart. Let me know if you want some mermaid brushes. Everyone wants a mermaid brush. Right, here we go. <laughs> oh my God, I'm actually, I'm drenching this one. Look, if I was to bring this out, hang on, this is what it would be like. Hang on, oh, this is gonna be impossible, hang on. Look, ready? I disgust him. That was so much water, but we're not doing that because we, we're taking it to an extreme. You need like quite a fair bit of blending. Like I go, I got in, like I'm like proper blending this, but I feel like because it's wet, it's just really gonna smear. It's actually, it's really dripping. Like this is so wet, this brush right now. Um, but what I would do is, oh my God, it's spraying water everywhere. I mean, I mean, there's no harsh lines, but it just looks like it's all disappeared onto the brush. Pretty much, this is just taking it all off. I think maybe I have, maybe I should wring out the water. But I don't know, look, it's kind of like, it's dried it all up now. You can't even wring it that much. It like all squirts. Let's try my forehead. And if not, then maybe we'll have to use powder because like, honestly, it's just taken all the foundation off that I was really proud of. I'm just really nervous about doing powder because I don't feel like it's only gonna like ruin the brush, but it's also gonna ruin the powder, but we're going for it. So I'm using this Marc Jacobs powder just because it's the only one in my hand right now. Oh, see, look, I knew it would do that, look. This makes me so sad. Yeah, see, look, this is better. Oh my gosh, wow, it's going on dark. I'm trying to dab some on my forehead. I mean, this goes on, but it's still kind of doing the same thing, look. Oh, I thought this was gonna be such a good look, but I'm not too sure. I mean, this is better. I mean, at least it looks like there's some bronzer on my face. Doesn't look like I can blend in makeup. Pretty much put this bronzer everywhere that I would usually contour, and I blended as much as I would usually contour, maybe even a little bit more. I don't know, does it look awful? I mean, I actually don't think it looks that bad. I mean, I wouldn't want to go out like this. At this point, I'm like, okay, I, I don't want to go out with my makeup like this because it just, look at that, it doesn't, it doesn't look very good. Not only does my face feel like wet right now, but actually so does my whole body because every time I would blend, water was like squirting off, like fanning like spraying water all over me. We are moving on to blush and I'm using the brush that I'm so excited about. So I'm gonna use my um my mermaid brush just because it's the cutest thing ever and I need to use this. Watch this. Oh. Okay that wasn't wasn't as cool as I thought it was gonna be. I'm like gonna go in with this blush and hope that it still picks up the colour. Let's uh I mean actually yeah that's kind of Oh, it looks like I've got a glow. I actually kind of like this, look. It looks like I've got a good highlight. I mean, actually that was pretty pink. So I'm going to use this because I know that 
A lot of you would know that I've really been raving about it. It's MUA. This is like one pound, maybe two. It's shimmer highlight powder in the shade Pink Shimmer. And it's so pretty. And I feel like with the blush, oh, hang on. I didn't wet it. With the blush, it's gonna look so good. It looks all right. It just kind of looks kind of shiny. I feel like at festival or something, this would look quite cute. Um, but every day, but every day today, it looks a little bit too shiny. Still don't think it looks that bad though. So for brows, in fact, actually everyone that asked me like what I do for my brows and like where I got my powder from. So currently I actually use a brow powder from um, the eye bar, which is basically a place where I live in Brighton. Um, basically the woman who does my eyebrows, she has like her own like little eyebrow company, but I don't think you can get it online, but it's really good. But yeah, any sort of brow powder, I guess, would do the same thing. So I guess, even, I don't know if people do this, but even to brush my brows, I'm gonna dip it in the cup. Um, in fact, I'll dump the other side whilst I'm at it. Both sides are now really wet. And I actually hate like using like brow gel and stuff, because I feel like it sets them too much into place that my like brows feel really stiff but water i feel like it will brush it into place quite nicely without making them feel really like stiff so actually i i don't mind this step too much to be honest so it's definitely harder to clean up your mistakes this way and to be honest i definitely make a lot <laughs> When I try and clean it up, it just ends up smudging because obviously the water. And also they're very dark. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. You know like when you were little and you would have those books where like you wouldn't even like paint, you would just like splash water and it would just like go with a color. Like it's kind of like the same thing like painting by numbers. I feel like actually the more I try and blend this, the worse it's gonna look because it's just really gonna smear. Smear, smear, smear. I mean, it's kind of like more water at the edges. I kind of tried to like, I'd say fade it out, but honestly, this has just happened by luck. Um, but I actually don't even want to do it anymore because I feel like the more I do, the worse it actually is going to look. Nothing's going to come off like the rest of the makeup. The more you try and blend it, the, just, the more it's going to expand and get... Well, it's not going to be on my eyes by the end of this. Maybe I'll do a tiny bit under my eyes and put a little bit of mascara as I usually would. So my last step is my gloss. And this is going to be my favourite step because it's just like normal. And uh, I'm going to put this on my lips and hopefully it should make the, the makeup look a little bit better. Right everyone, so there is my full face, my usual makeup routine using wet makeup brushes. This water actually isn't as dirty as I thought it was going to be, but I think it's because my brushes were so clean at first. I mean, to be fair, I don't think it looks that bad. I mean, I would not want to go out in this. At first I didn't mind, I was like, yeah, maybe I'll go out in this. As soon as we hit the eyes, I was like, not a chance. I feel like it looks like my makeup routine, but just a smudged version. Like, as you can see, I'm dripping down here. Kind of looks like I've been punched in the eye. Um, it looks like I'm a kid and I'm playing with like water paint colors all over my eyelid. Uh, my eyes do look black and they don't look great. The rest of it, like the foundation and stuff, doesn't look that bad. I feel like it would maybe look worse in real life. I don't know, it's dry now. It's not that bad, but I feel like maybe it's quite thick. But I mean, yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you've ever tried this challenge, also definitely let me know um, down in the comments. Let me know down in the comments below if you think that you would do a better job using wet makeup brushes when doing your normal makeup routine than I did. Um, or if you thought I'd actually done quite a good job. I mean, I don't think I did that bad. Um, anyways, I really hope you guys did enjoy it. Don't forget to hit a big thumbs up if you guys did and subscribe down below and hit that bell. There's somewhere on the screen right now. And last but not least, what was I gonna say? I really don't remember. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm gonna leave it there and I love you all and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Mwah. Bye.